Hola chicas, is your girl here? <laughs> well, chica is girl. Hey guys, it's your girl Leanna back with another video. So, clearly you guys like my laid back chill videos. Thank you. I appreciate you because I did not want to sit with a straight back because I have bad posture. <laughs> Anyways, so, um... I want to talk about today or tonight or whenever I post this, probably tomorrow because it's the same day, earlier video, but I'm home from work. But anyways, I want to talk about how YouTube changed my life less than 100 subscribers because I have less than 100 subscribers as life, as an introvert, you know, creator tips, I guess, of being a introvert. So... Honestly, I know I'm making a big deal out of, oh, I have a less than 100 subscribers. I've been working on my channel since 2019, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, I don't feel bad because at least I can have the time to figure out what I wanted to want to do with just like my niche and my style of how I grow my channel and everything. Because it's not like, you know, with everybody saying like with their family because I'm doing this without you know anyone close to me doing this I'm doing this authentically of you know random people <laughs> which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but you know how people always have their friends or their friends friends go and subscribe you know to have that growth faster and everything which yeah I could do that but I just feel like honestly with just me growing without that help i could like talk shit and have my true um thoughts and feelings without anybody saying i can't feel that way or that way is feeling is bad and i have no reason to feel that way so um i i, I have more of the freedom of talking how i feel without having um to um water it down without uh you know people that are know knowing what is what the trauma I've been through so I think that's just a plus of me not telling anybody you know what I'm doing with my life you know move in secret <laughs> and honestly it gives me the freedom to talk about like uh the different things that uh I went through and just having it all on you know not on document, but all out where like, you know, I could look back later and see how I grow mentally as well too. Like I could go back five years later and be like, wow, I was like that at 25. Like, wow, okay, cool. Or I was like that at 26, you know, or like, oh, I had a boyfriend already finally, you know, you know, so I don't know. It's just, it just makes me feel like I have freedom in my creativity and I don't have to put on a front. Whereas, you know, if I had to, like, I have to shelter myself. So I'm kind of happy that I'm able to not shelter my thoughts and my feelings. And I could, like, you know, just freely talk, you know. And it's just that I feel with, you know, being an introvert and I don't like people. People get on my last nerve. Like, especially people that have bad responsive problems like I'm more of you know planning ahead try to have a conversation and I hate people that don't want to respond back you know um and it just makes me just be like all right fine if you want to be a dick or a bitch you know fine you know I'll just simply stop it because it's not cool especially I haven't done anything fucking to you you know I'm not I'm not gonna try to make anybody talk to me or you know as simple as that <laughs> email me <laughs> if i block you email me i'm just kidding but i think that in all like um with having less of an eye on me and honestly i don't expect my growth any fast because i like the small my my um two supporters i love you thank you <laughs> thank you for watching me and liking my videos i appreciate you i don't know who you are i think i know who you are but i i, I appreciate it. it makes me feel like i'm doing something good in my life um my thing overall is just i i really understand what us introverts go through with not wanting to talk to people but you know 
I there's other ways too where if you don't want to show your face like you could like play Animal Crossing or show your pet or you know do lands like landscaping videos or just like you can show your yourself but not like like your lower half of yourself like your body well I, not like that but like your back or you know like your you like your lower chest area not like that but like you could do like crocheting where, where you could like angle the video and then you could like do your crocheting thing you know playing games you could do if you don't really want to show your face and just honestly build like a little community to make you feel like you feel important and I'm not doing that oh just well to say oh I have fans like I would never be like that I'll be like oh I got a lots of awkward weird friends that I don't know but you know they help me through uh what I need to go through where you know if I'm talking crap or have a mental breakdown I know that they got my back and you know I don't need fake friends you know, I'd rather have strangers have friends than to have fake friends. <laughs> fake people could burn in hell. Anyways, but I feel with, you know, less than 100 subscribers, I could be myself. Even though I'm still going to continue to be myself. And if you feel like I'm changing when I surpass, you know, 1K, whatever, you could be like, Mia, you're not the bitch who you were when you were at 60 subscribers you're not the same person Calm, bring it back down and you i have the permission for you to do that to humble me a little bit you know and i will take a step back and humble myself a little bit because again my whole purpose is for me to step more out of my comfort zone and um if i'm not gonna go out i might as well just be in the comfort of my home and <laughs> and put myself you know, in a in a position of, you know, let me find my weird, awkward group of friends, you know, that are introverts and be alone. Well, we could all just chill together online, you know. We I could like do live um chats if y'all want to. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we could just be a community of, you know, blah. Left outs, left outs, leftovers. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I kind of like the vibe of, you know, my not editing videos. I mean, of course, I'm going to get back to them eventually, like if I do vlogs again or stuff like that. But I don't know. I just haven't had the real kind of motivation right now because I'm still getting over the loss of my bird, Ollie. Um, I had her for eight years. And so I just feel like. She was in a lot of my milestones over the last eight years. And I really, she was my strength. She was really my whole world. And I don't have her anymore. But I don't know. Um, I appreciate those of you are supporting and liking my videos. Hi, I love you. Thank you. Um, you mean a lot to me. And I don't know you, so that's cool. But we can know each other through the vibes. <laughs> if we vibe it, we vibe it, baby. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Don't. Anyways. Um. Yeah. I don't know. But I. I just feel like I don't have. I don't have the pressure to you know be something that I'm not and I like that because you know again for years I feel like I was being not myself especially because like I was going to church consistently and you know thinking that God will help me through my troubles and everything and clearly I'm still a mess in a wreck with my life and he can't help me but could help somebody that could use them when they need him <sighs> so you know, but they're perfect, their lives are perfect, and, you know, I'm not over here on my last thread or breath, you know, so I just feel like I'm me, and I'm known, I'm getting to know myself, 
And I think through this, I can help, you know, somebody else of not feeling alone. Because that is, like, my main purpose of, I know how it feels to be alone. It feels to be left out. Um, and I don't want to make that a continued uh, continuing on to somebody else. So if you feel alone, I understand you. I support you. I'm here for you. Um, <clears throat> and you're not alone. And yeah. So if you think that if this helps you, I'm grateful. Um, cause that is just my main purpose and my focus is just to be a positive force and to somebody else's darkness even though I'm struggling we could get through this together if you feel like your family isn't supporting you you don't have a shoulder to cry on I'm here for you because I don't have a, sh a shoulder to cry on or to talk to or that I can't really trust so we could get through this alone in our little growing community of weird and awkwardness so if you are weird and awkwardness and feel like you never fit in with people, hit that subscribe button because we could get through this together. Woo! <laughs> this is the corner of YouTube where, where this is exclusive. Okay. So get your other weird, awkward friends <laughs> and we can have a growing family community of other people. And it's kind of weird too because like... um. I've I've had like comments of like wow you were never popular or anything like that but like no I was always the one that was made fun of and everybody else was ugly that was popular which that confused me and what commute what confused me is more as like I was a big person like I wasn't fat like I was a big person and the fattest people that are like 300 400 pounds with rolls and dips and sandwiches in their rolls and everything and they're telling me that I'm fat and I'm just like honey we're not looking at the same mirror because look at you how are you gonna tell me I'm fat and I don't even and I and and we we we're about the same size but you're twice as bigger than me like really <laughs> and my body is weird because like I'm 215 and I'll, and people carry weight differently but I have a lot of muscle. So when I work out, when I like uh try to lose weight and fat, I gain the muscle. So like when I lose fat, I gain muscle and that's what makes me like look smaller. But I'm not really smaller because my body carries a lot more muscle. So it's just it's harder for me to lose the fat because when I lose the fat I'm lo I'm gaining more weight because I'm gaining more muscle. So that I was like, oh, that's always the confusion. And then when I say like, oh, I'm two fifteen, people get shocked. And I'm just like, yeah, it's just that my my fat is my muscle. <laughs> like I'm not fat, I get it, but it's like m muscle weighs heavier than fat. So that's why with people that carry more fat. And they lose weight faster because it's just that, you know, they don't have that muscle mass as, you know, with people that has more muscle mass, it's easier for them to lose the weight, the fat easier because they just have the fat. While I have more of the muscle and muscle and then, yeah, whatever. You get what I'm fucking trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, that was just, it was just crazy. So... That was just my struggle, which it, it just bothered me. And I wouldn't even cry. I would only I would only cry because it would just frustrate me because it doesn't make sense. And be like, oh, you're crying because you're sad. I'm like, no, because you're fucking stupid. Because you're saying that I'm fat and you're fatter than me. And like, leave me alone. <laughs> and then when I do snap that, then they're all like, oh, my God, she's so mean. I'm like, no, you pissed me the fuck off. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, the struggle of being an introvert. And I hate the fact that they always be like, why don't you talk? Be like, I talk. I just don't fucking like you. Like, I don't want to talk to you. Why is that a problem? Like, why do you feel threatened that I don't like you? You know? 
<laughs> like comment below if you ever had those problems where people be like, oh, you don't talk. You're like, no, I, I just don't like you. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, God. Life of an introvert is crazy. I mean, I honestly, I, I said this like a thousand times and you're like, Leanna, we get it. You love to be alone, but I'd rather be alone than to deal with a miserable person that just isn't positive and that just mentally abused me and drained me. I'd rather be by myself for the rest of my life than someone who is just a burden to me. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be off the fucking grid by myself in my own world, creating my own fucking world, than to deal with somebody that is just a New York rat. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I, I don't need somebody to like me. You don't have to like me. I've grown to the fact that if you don't like me, I don't care. I'm not going to force you to like me. Okay? You have to work on yourself because, honestly, I really don't need people that bad. I don't need a group of friends that bad because I am fine by myself. And a lot of people can't say that because a lot of people, 95 not even 90, 99% of people would be like, they need somebody. They they have to have people validation for them to like. And it's just like, why do you need people validation to like you when all you need is yourself? Because at the end of the day, when you're six feet under, you're going to be buried by yourself. So why do you need other people's validations or a friend group or having a bunch of fake people around you and they don't give a shit about you when you're six feet under? You know what I'm fucking saying? Like, that's just weird to me how people... And I get it, we're human species and we're, like, designed to, like, have people, like, around. But <clears throat> we weren't the first species to exist. Animals were the first species to exist because they were here first. We just came after. We took over. You know, that's why deers are living in our neighborhoods now. Like, that's why deers are our neighbors. <laughs> so it's just like, it just bothers, it just, bo not boggle, it just boggles me because it's crazy that people can say that they need, they need people around them. And it's just like, then you need help because we're going to die alone at the end of the day and then people are going to forget about us. So, <laughs> I know I'm going way too deep in it, but, and then, and, and it's just the other half of people that they, the Christian, me, like, um, my favorite, like, the Lord and Savior is my strength, and it's just like, but your Lord and Savior isn't helping your situation any better, you know, I don't know. But yeah, this just got into a whole deeper conversation than what it started out of. But honestly, to all the other uh, introverts, I'm here for you. I understand you. And you you don't you don't need people to like you. You don't have to um make the popular girl like you because the popular girl is going to be ugly when in 20 years anyways while you have a glow up. I'm I'm the test of that. I was never ugly. But the popular people that called me ugly are ugly today. <laughs> so you're okay. You're going to be just fine. Just focus on yourself. Focus on schooling. Focus on what you need to focus on. You're not lazy. Okay. You're not lazy. You're okay. Um, and yeah. And if you feel like you have no one to to support you i'm here for you like i said because i get you and i validate your feelings and you, you don't even have to say you don't even have to tell me what's wrong i already could tell that if you're watching this i validate your feelings i'm here for you and i understand you so that's what i'm gonna end the video here um i just got home from work i mean it was just a four-hour shift but it's fine honestly i i don't mind but yeah like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Peace.
I'm just trying to make a thumbnail, honestly. I gotta make the same thumbnails, which is...